The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate the efflux pump MEX-AB from Pseudomonas aeruginosa using a functional test based on the reconstitution of membrane proteins in liposomes. This is accomplished by first overexpressing and purifying membrane proteins MEXB and bacterial rhodopsin in bacteria. Membrane proteins are then extracted from the membranes and purified by affinity chromatography. The second step is to prepare liposomes by combining a dried lipidic film with buffer containing pyrenine, which leads to the formation of multilamellar vesicles. Following sonication, the liposomes are extruded to get a homogeneous population of liposomes. Next, detergent, membrane proteins, and then polystyrene beads are added to the liposome solution. The hydrophobic tails of the detergent adsorb on the polystyrene beads, allowing the membrane proteins to then loosen the detergent belt and insert into the liposome membrane. The last step is the removal of non-encapsulated pyrenine by running the proteoliposomes on a desalting column. Large proteoliposomes reach the bottom of the column much faster than non-encapsulated pyrenine, which remains trapped at the top of the column. Ultimately, proteoliposomes are collected and their fluorescence is used to investigate MEX-AB activity through the change in pH created upon illumination of bacterial rhodopsin. Efflux pumps are transporters that promote antibiotic resistance due to the recognition and transport of a broad...